Hello everyone. Today I am going to talk about code. So programmer knows that even bad code can function. But uh, if code is not clean, if code is not organized, it can be a nightmare for your organization, for your team and it can be really difficult if somebody down the line after a few months or year is reading that code or trying to manage or enhance that code. So to solve that problem uh, today I am going to review this book. As you can see the name is Clean Code. This is a handbook of Agile Software Craftsmanship and it will talk about uh, that how you can uh, differentiate between good and bad code and how you can uh, write good code and how you can transform bad code into good code, how to do unit testing and how to format code for maximum readability. Uh, this is a book by uh, Robert C. Martin. Uh, it has many chapters. It's a good size book and you will see lots of things. Most of the example has been covered for Java language, but uh, I'm sure that uh, the principles which has been uh, detailed in this book can be used for any kind of code. So uh, a book start with uh, some definition of the clean code and how we can identify the bad code, how attitude of the programmer or the coder make his or her code bad or good and different schools of thoughts has been covered. Then meaningful naming of the function classes, how functions should be written and what are the importance of commenting your code and what consider a bad comment and then it talk about the importance of formatting and then it talks about how we should try to formalize our code structure into proper objects and data structures, how we should try to do the error handling, how we should try to find out or set the boundaries in our code, how unit testing can be covered uh, in our code, how test driven uh, development approach can be used. Uh, so, you know, it's really a detailed one. Uh, uh, a good amount of chapters has been covered and then uh, Java language has been covered specifically. And then uh, like refinement kind of topics has been covered and it's it's really a good book what i didn't like in this book was somehow it's quite java centric only uh, for a topic which is quite universal for each and every language example may have been given in some other languages like python php or node.js because all these languages are quite also popular and uh, okay this book is also available on the safari online uh, i strongly recommend this book uh, for some experienced programmers as well as newcomers uh, at least they will get to know that uh, what they can do and what they shouldn't do uh, that's all for today uh, in next videos i'll be uh, reviewing other books for you thank you and please keep watching my videos and you can subscribe to my channel for more details thank you